No, I don't waste no time What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George, social media marketing online coach. So I have my own social media marketing agency where I help businesses grow through Facebook advertising and I also have my own education business where I teach you guys on how to do the same. So how to start your own agency, how to get your first clients, how to build it, automate it, scale it so that you too can live life on your own terms. And in this video, um, again, this is going to be another off the cuff type video where I just basically uh, share my thoughts on everything that is going on. And in today's video, I want to be talking about the compound effect um, of entrepreneurship because let's face it, everywhere we go online, we see all these overnight successes, we see the Lambos, we see the private jets, etc. And you know, whether you like it or not, that is sort of distilling a certain image in your brain that if you go down this route, you will get success quickly. Or if you follow someone online by his, you know, whatever program they are promoting, um, you will get success overnight. And that is obviously a very big misconception. You know, I'm all for online courses, coaching, etc. Um, you know, obviously I've got my own program. And I do try and mention it, like right off the bat, like guys, this is a legitimate service-based business and it's not something that is going to come quickly. You know, you're not going to get success overnight, but if you follow the systems and you follow the processes that I explain, then yes, you know, you can actually get your first clients and then from there get your second client, third client. And, you know, like I basically just show you everything you need to know to automate it and scale it to eventually become a six-figure business but you're not going to land eight clients within your first month. I remember I had a coaching student. Um, so basically my coaching program is like in group form. So I've basically taken like the best parts of coaching, um, like group coaching, and I've taken, taken the best parts of having a course, put them together, and I've got like this kind of hybrid program going on where you get my online course, but you also get access to me via WhatsApp, access to the group coaching course, and we're all in one big mastermind group where we basically um, talk on a daily basis. And there is one guy, um, obviously I'm not going to name any names, but there was one guy who said, listen, I need some kind of one-on-one -on -one coaching because, you know, um, the group coaching is fine and all, but I want guidance from you. I want to basically learn from you so that I can also basically, you know, hit the ground running. And a couple of times I mentioned, like, listen, you know, the group coaching is what it is. You know, I, I can't keep changing my business model based on the preferences of the students or the clients. You know, this is what it is. And this is what I'm basically trying to become a specialist at. Um, in the end, he made a compelling argument and he basically said, listen, you know, I'm willing to pay a premium price for this because I do understand that it's going to cost a lot of your time. And, you know, I want to be your success student. So I thought, OK, you know, if I do actually give him the attention that um, is required to build up this business, then, you know, um, it's great social proof for me as well, because it's literally proof that it works. So I accepted his challenge and we basically scheduled uh, weekly calls and you know I basically done like a daily check-in or by daily check-in on WhatsApp and his goal was like 10 clients within the first month so I said listen that is extremely ambitious um, I don't know where you get that idea from that that's even you know feasible it's not impossible but you know it is it is quite hard it is difficult and if I can give you advice right off the bat is that I wouldn't aim for 10 you know or you, you can aim for 10 if you want but you're not going to achieve 10 um you know what you're best doing is aiming a little lower hitting that goal and then pushing the needle forward from there you're know, getting those small wins because those small wins add up you know it is the compound effect of those small wins um that basically get you to where you want to go and obviously like three weeks in he realized that you know it was true what i'm saying you know obviously um the experience you know that i've got with this i know what is possible and what isn't and he realized then that, okay, his goal was far too ambitious and he stopped. And I don't blame him for thinking that way because, you know, he's seeing online on social media, he's seen all these people get success, get, um, you know, clients after clients. You know, there's people, screenshots of meetings, like, you know, showing the calendars, how full they are and stuff like that. And regardless of if those screenshots, etc., are real, um, 
it does paint a picture of what it is like to be an online business owner, entrepreneur, or whatever you want to call it. And a lot of people will still fall. For, you know, obviously people are not stupid. We can, they can see who is real and who is fake. At least I hope they can. But you know, there are still a lot of people out there that will see that and think, okay, that is what it's going to be like from minute one. And that is not the case. You know, I've said it a few times in my videos. You will need to put in the work. And this this counts for every business model, by the way. This is not just social media marketing. You know, even if you have a dropshipping store, you will need to research the products. You know, what product is not as readily available out there? What products can people not find right away on, um, you know, um, for example, AliExpress? Because I've had that before. We've literally had a client that had um, like bracelets and literally on the first page of AliExpress, the exact bracelets were there for like a tenth of the price. And even though the retainer was like 1500 I said, you know, we can't accept you as a client because people can see right through it. And I can't see this actually working. And obviously he said, listen, you know, I've done this before. I have got the experience. I've had a few stores. And I said, that may be, the, that may be true, but you know, you've not promote it you have not tried to promote these bracelets before you know this is for, for you this is a new product and i can tell you right off the bat if i can find it on the first page of aliexpress you know people are not sure people are going to realize that they can get this bracelet for much cheaper um than you know you are trying to promote it for but you know he we parted ways and i've actually recently checked up on his website and his last um post because he run he ran posts as well like social media management was november 2018 so you know we all know or we can all make a educated guess to where that sort of ended up but um, like i said you know people are not stupid people can see what is going on so with drop shipping for example you will need to do a lot of research and find your prof product you will need to set up your store that converts you will need to have an adequate amount of experience with Facebook ads or knowledge of Facebook ads to run it and you will need to basically have all the variables set in place and working correctly for that to be profitable or to even break even you know at the start and people see these shiny objects you know people see that uh, people are in millions with their stores people are uh, uh, hitting 10k etc not knowing that yes you know there is a massive um, or basically there's a very small profit margin and a massive chunk of of the revenue goes back into ads or cost of the product, etc. And I just want to quickly show you, I'll just quickly move to my uh, screen here. So we just got a random spreadsheet here. And I just want to basically show you guys the compound effect of small wins and how they can add up over time. Um, I probably should have prepared this before actually recording the screen, but let's just let's just try and do it off the bat. So months, um, or no, actually let's do time in, time in months. And then we'll do uh, money in, Oh, let's just do money. Okay, let's keep it like that. So we've got one, two, three. So let's just do the span of 24 months. So there we go. So that's two years. So 24 more. One more. There we go. 24. So we've got 24 months. So this is a two-year time frame for, let's say, um, I don't know, whatever online business you're trying to do. Again, it doesn't matter. You know, this applies for any business. So let's say we start off with um, $1,000. So we've got 1000 here. Um there we go, a thousand. And in a month, so after a month of putting in everything you've got, you know, literally working day and night, um, putting in like crazy amount of hours, uh, you managed to push the needle by 20%. So will that work? There we go. So after a complete month of like literally eye water and you know, whatever, you know, work, you've only managed to, to make an additional $200. But you keep pushing the needle, and a month later, you earn um, another. That's not right. Let me just quickly fix that. So, 1.2 times this one. There we go. So, as you can see here, we've put in the same amount of work and effort. So let's just let's just all assume that we're working the same amount of hours. So let's say um, hours hours worked. Okay. So we work. Let's say we work 160 hours um, a month. Okay, so that is the same. Will that stay the same? Yeah. So we work 160 hours um, a month working on our side hustle or whatever, whatever business it is. And, you know, we push the needle again. We, again, push the needle by 20%. And as you can see, we've made a $240. So the first month, we worked the same amount of hours, but we only earned $200. But the next month, again, you know, we're, we're pushing the needle and 
uh, we're making those incremental changes, incremental improvements, and we've only, again, pushed the needle by 20%, but we've now earned an extra $40, so $240 has been added. And again, it's a small margin, but just look at what happens over time. So again, 20%, 20%, 20%. And as you see, by two years, you've got $66,000. Uh, and we only started with $1,000. And we've only ever improved by 20% each month. So what I'm trying to basically show you guys here is that those small wins do add up. And you won't go from $1,000 to $66,000 overnight. But you don't need to because if you just consistently improve and just aim to push the needle every single week day or month you know you won't get like i said you won't get 10, cl 10 clients in the first month like um you know our uh basically the student that wants one-on-one -on -one coaching thought he did but if you get one client the first month and you get literally you put in you go the extra mile for this client you get them the best results you possibly can you give them literally like your you follow up with them you reply to his emails as quickly as possible you literally put in the work and the next month you get another client and client one is so happy with your service that he actually stays with you. You've got two clients. Then the third month, maybe client number one is so happy with a second month of exquisite, you know, literally uh, peak performance from you that he's going to refer you on to one of his um, co-workers or colleagues or within his network. And you've got a third client in your third month and so on and so forth. You know, you basically every single month you push the needle. You don't have these five figure months or anything like that. But over time, you will. You'll build it up because all those little small wins will add up over time. So again, let, let me just quickly make a graph out of this just to make it easier to show you guys. So um, how do we do this chart? Is that it? Let me see. I don't think I did this right. Let me do it again. Ah, there we go. We actually managed to sort this. So as you can see, you know, it really, really slow at the start. But because of these compound and uh, because of the compound interest of the consistent effort putting in, it's just going plus 20%, plus 20%, plus 20%. And as you can see, over time, you just get that JK, right? Okay, it's not as it's not as uh, as aggressive as I hoped. But as you can see, you know, it is. It is going up and up and up and up and up. And if we continue this, so this is just two years, right? Let's just let's just add another year onto this. So go down to 36. There we go. And then move this one forward as well. There we go. Look how quickly that can go. And again, we're just putting in the same amount of work, right? But we're, we're pushing the needle by 20% every single time. And that is the compound effect of just consistent effort and pushing the needle every single day. And... Um, what I can quickly show you guys as well is, so this is a quick analogy that really helped me sort of understand the sort of overnight success paradigm. And guys, like I'm, I'm the same, right? I, I on my uh, video sales list, I mentioned that we built a six-figure business in 14 days, which is true. You know, not that, not aware of that is lie, but to get to six figures in 14 days, prior to the 14 days, we had to put in a lot of work, and like I failed a business prior to that. You know, and I put in months of trying to figure it all out. And then, yes, within those 14 days, I managed to hit six figures. I, I literally went from zero to six figures. But there's a lot of time and effort that went into that prior to that. And the same goes for, you know, for your favorite gurus that you watch online. Yes, they might have um, amazing results. And, you know, whether they are true or not, that is completely up for you to decide. But for them to get those amazing results, they have put in the time, the work and the effort and yes, they might, might have had a bit of luck along the way. Maybe they've had a bit of momentum going or they've had guidance from someone. But for them to hit that, they have put in an incredible amount of work. And you know you will not achieve that if you're starting from zero and you know you, you buy whatever course. You, know, you will need to put in the work. So, for example, just to show you guys this, um, let's just say this is a pond. There we go. And there is a little water lily in the pond. Okay, there we go. Let's just pretend this is a water lily. I'm awful at drawing this. Okay, and every single day, the amount of water lilies in the pond double. Okay, so in day one, we've got one water lily. Uh, day two, we've got two water lilies. Day three, we've got four water lilies. And let's just say, after 50 days, the entire pond is filled with water lilies. Okay, literally, entire pond is completely, does not, you can't even see the water. That's how many water lilies are in the water. At how many days did it take for this pond to be half full with water lilies? And for those of you that said 49 days, you guys are correct. So to go from half full 
to full only took one day. So let's just say the water lilies were your business and the pond, or let's say the pond is your business and the water lilies were your cash flow, then you can literally say, well, yeah, in one day I doubled my business, which is true. But 49 days prior to that, it was those small you know, margins every single time. And yes, you know, the water lilies are doubling, the business is doubling, but it's still, you went from one, one sale to two sales or from two sales to four sales, you know, it's small margins. And yes, then in the last day from 50, 49 to, to day 50, you went from half full pond to completely full pond. And that is what they show on YouTube. That is what they show on Instagram, that overnight you doubled your business by using this one simple trick, etc. And that's it. I just want to show you guys that um, it's the compound effect of putting in consistent efforts and consistent, um, the consistent amount of work over time. So moral of this video is to understand that it takes work, it takes effort, regardless of what business you're trying to look into, regardless of what guru you are watching, you will need, every single business that you see online is a legitimate business and you will need to put in the time, the work and the effort. Okay, the camera just died there, but the same goes for social media marketing. So that is all I've got for today. Hope you got something out of this. Leave a comment down below what you'd like to see from my channel next. And also leave a comment down below if you like these type of videos. So rather than like the explainer videos, rather than the vlogs, just sort of a sit down video with me just talking about my thoughts, etc. About the industry, marketing, etc. in general. So uh, yeah, like I said, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.